Hello, it's Helen again. I'm back to play some more fun singing games with you. Do you remember how we warm up our voices? That's right, balloons. I've got a red balloon. What colour's your balloon? Fantastic. Let's blow it up. Hold on. And let go. I've got a purple balloon. Let's blow that one up too. Hold on. got a friend to help me today. This is Quaver. Hi Quaver. Quaver likes to fly around. Can you follow Quaver with your voice? You ready? very tired. Shall we sing a lullaby to help Quaver go to sleep? Listen. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. Wish I may, wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. Can you pretend you have a teddy or a baby to rock to sleep? Can you sing with me? Off we go, starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. Wish I may, wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. Did you use a lovely soft voice? A soft voice in music is called piano. Can you sing in a piano voice? Off we go, starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. Wish I may, wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. I think they're asleep. Let's put them down for a lovely sleep. Do you remember the actions for our song? We had stars. We had our first star I see tonight. Wish I may, wish I might. And then have the wish I wish tonight. If you can't cross your fingers, you can just do some excited little fists. You ready? Off we go, starlight, star bright. First star I see tonight. Wish I may, wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. While Quaver is sleeping, I've got a fun game for you. <clears throat> it's like an instruction game. I sing an instruction and you have to do it. Are you ready? Stand up. Sit down. Did you do it? Let's try again. Stand up, sit down, sit down, sit down, stand up. Fantastic. Well done. I'm going to make it a bit harder for you because I think that was too easy. I'm going to take the instructions off and see if you can still work out what I want you to do. Are you ready? Do, do. Do, 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 well done. Now, do you want it to be even harder? Because I was showing you a little bit with my hands there. What if I cross my arms? Do you think you can still do it? Can you still 
figure out which instruction I want you to do. You ready? Do 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 do. Well done! How did you know what to do? Oh, you heard my voice change. I made my voice go higher when I wanted you to stand up and I made my voice go lower when I wanted you to sit down. Well done. Let's try one more time. Are you ready? Do 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 Oh, tricky one. Do 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 Well done, you did it! Better finish with a do do <laughs> Fantastic. Do you remember our song about the clock? Tick tock. The clock makes a sound. Tick tock. Tick tock. It's steady and even, just like our heartbeat. Tick tock. Tick tock. Shall we sing? Ready? Off we go. Tick tock. Tick tock. Goes my little clock all day long. It just Tick-tock. My tick-tock action matches the beat of the song while we sing. Shall we use a loud forte voice to do a big action for the big tick-tock of our big clock. Forte means loud. You ready? Off we go. Tick-tock. Tick-tock. Goes our big clock. Let's use a soft piano voice and do a tiny action for the tiny tick-tock of a tiny clock. Ready, off we go. Tick-tock, tick-tock goes my little clock all day long. It just goes tick-tock. Fantastic. Which voice do you like using the most? Your forte voice? or your piano voice. I like using both of mine in different places, I think. Oh look, Quaver's woken up. Quaver loves playing Peepo. Do you like Peepo? I have a special Peepo game for birds. Listen to this. Cuckoo, where are you? Here I am, I see you. Quaver, or cuckoo, is going to hide. I've got three places that Quaver can hide. We've got the flower. We've got a cactus. And we've got a little fern. I wonder where Quaver will hide. Cuckoo. Do you know where Quaver's hiding? Is it in the flower, the cactus, or the fern? That's right, it's the flower. Should we play again? Ready, off we go. Cuckoo, where are you? Here I am, I see you. Where is Quaver hiding? The flower the cactus or the fern? That's right, the cactus. Can you sing along this time? You ready? Off we go, cuckoo, where are you? Here I am, I see you. Where is Quaver hiding? Is it the flower, the cactus or the fern? It's the fern! Did you enjoy that, Quaver? Yes. Oh, Quaver wants to play seesaw. But seesaws need two friends. Who will play with Quaver? Oh, that's a good
good idea. Shall we see if we can find Crotchet? Hello, Crotchet. Would you like to play with Quaver on the seesaw? Fantastic. You sit on this side and you sit on this side and we can rock like that. Why don't you make your arms into a seesaw? Who would you play with? You could hold two teddies or just imagine some friends on your seesaw. Are you ready? Listen. Off we go, seesaw, up and down, in the air and on the ground. When the song stops, we have to freeze. Shall we sing again? Off we go, seesaw, up and down, in the air and on the ground. Freeze. Off we go, seesaw, up and down, in the air and on the ground. What's that quaver? You're tired again? Oh, do you want to have a little rest? Okay, Quaver's going to have a little rest. Do you want to rest too, Crotchet? No, you want to keep playing? Yes. Crotchet wants to carry on playing on the seesaw, but now there's only one of you. I know, I could lift you up and down as if you were on a seesaw. Can you get one of your friends, or maybe just hold your hands like that, and lift them up and down with the seesaw. You ready? Off we go, seesaw, up and down, in the air and on the ground. Was that good? Let's do it again. Off we go, seesaw, up and down, in the air and on the ground. What do you notice about my song and the actions? Watch again and listen. Seesaw up and down in the air and on the ground. Did you notice when the song goes higher, we moved our toy higher? And when the song goes lower, we moved our toy lower. Musicians have a special word for how high or low a sound is. It's called pitch. Can you say pitch? We can use our voices to sing a high pitch or a low pitch. Can you sing high pitch? And can you sing low pitch? Well done. Okay, I think it's time for you to have a rest as well because all this playing has worn out my shoes. Let's pop back to the cobbler to get them mended. Can you sing along to our cobbler song? Here's my shoe and here's my hammer. Off we go, cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe. Get it done by half past two. Half past two is much too late. Get it done by half past eight. Oh, cobbler, that's just too slow. <clears throat> Please, can you mend my shoes faster? Ready? Off we go, cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe, get it done by half past two. Half past two is much too late, get it done by half past eight. Can we make up some actions for this song that shows the pitch? When we sing a high pitch, we can put our hands on our heads. And when we sing a low pitch, we can put our hands on our shoulders. Are you ready? Off we go. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe, get it done by half past two. Half past two is much too late, get it done by half past eight. Fantastic. Let's try that again. Ready, off we go. Cobbler, cobbler, mend my shoe, get it done by half past Two. Half past two is much too late. Get it done by half past eight. I hope you enjoyed playing our games today and learning the new ones. Will you come back next time for some more? Great. 
See you then.